All right, now we have the first PoE camera to officially support Apple HomeKit Secure Video, launching with the Acara G5 Pro. Opening the Home app, this is the camera that reloads the thumbnail the fastest for me. Maybe you've heard about PoE, but you might not realize why it's such a big deal for surveillance and why it's something a lot of the high-end cameras use. HomeKit Secure Video is just the start of the features this camera has, but there is a notable feature difference between the Acara G5 Pro and other PoE cameras we'll get into later in this video. This might make the Acara G5 Pro perfect for you or maybe not the best option. And thanks to Akara for sponsoring this video. If you're new here, I'm Eric Wielander. I've been working in app development on top of Apple's platform since 2011 and building out my smart home here on YouTube since 2018. So if you're into Apple or smart home tech, consider subscribing. When I first had a chance to test out this camera, I specifically asked Akara to send me the PoE version. PoE stands for Power Over Ethernet. This means you run a single ethernet cable out to the camera and it takes care of both the data and the electricity. I think it's great that a car offers the option of a Wi-Fi version of this camera, but if you're going to run something for USB-C power to that camera, I would choose to run ethernet instead. Even though Wi-Fi continues to get more advanced, it's hard to beat a physical cable for a reliable data connection. To send power and data, the ethernet port on the other end of the cable needs to be equipped to add the electricity. You can do this with a PoE switch, like my Unify switch, or if your existing setup doesn't have PoE, you can get a PoE injector for a single port, which will add power and pass through the data. If you can't run power over your ethernet line, you can also power this camera with a USB-C cable. Now, keep in mind that the PoE version of this camera does require ethernet for data. Wiring ethernet is really a topic for a separate video, but I would encourage you to spend time learning how to do this. It's a valuable skill and you'll find the time spent adding wires in your house can pay dividends making your smart home more reliable. Also keep in mind that you can hire a contractor, electrician, or home installer to run Ethernet for you. This is a great idea if you're working with new construction or remodeling, especially where the drywall isn't up yet. I was able to take advantage of the drop ceiling in my basement and the hole the cable company made for running cable into my house. This way I have a cable for this camera running from my network closet over my home theater and out to my back deck. In the box, you get the camera with a cable port for ethernet attached. A car also includes a USB-C cable as an optional way to supply power, along with some mounting accessories. There's also a small tool to help with removing the rear cover in the event you need to factory reset the camera with the small button under the back cover. You can place the camera on a shelf, but if you're mounting it on a ceiling or wall like me, the supplied mounting plate attaches to the wall with two included screws and wall anchors. Then slide the camera onto the mounting plate and connect the ethernet cable. From there, you can set up the camera in the Acara app and add it to Apple Home. Once you have the video flowing through the apps, set the angle of your camera to be just what you want. If you mount the camera on a wall like me and you want to turn it right or left, you need to loosen the screw where the camera connects to the base in order to let the camera turn left or right. While the port to connect your ethernet cable is external to the camera, it appears to have plenty of weather sealing on it. The camera is also rated to work in a wider range of temperatures than most outdoor cameras I've seen. It goes from negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's great for the weather, but if you're recording a clip at night and some camera you're using can't give you a clear image, that's a big problem. This brings me to the true color night vision. The Acara G5 Pro has an f1.0 aperture and a 1 over 1.8 inch 4 megapixel sensor with a 133 degree field of view lens that has great low light performance. Acara pairs this with some fancy image processing and a bright spotlight that can shine if needed. All this combines to make a colorful image at night that competes with the best color night vision options I've seen on the market. For home kids of gear video, as I mentioned earlier, this camera is super snappy. I see a refresh live view right away in the home app and it never drops offline for me, thanks in large part, I think, to the physical cable running between the camera and the rest of my network. Acara also records clips to built-in storage in the camera. 
By default, this is eight gigabytes, but there's a special version of this camera available direct from Acara that has 32 gigabytes of storage built in. The G5 Pro uses the built-in neural processing unit to detect things like people, packages, and vehicles. The camera can also detect sounds as a way to trigger recordings, including an early preview of detecting barking, coughing, or a baby crying. I did not test the audio recognition myself. My camera tends to pick up lots of wind noise where it's mounted. For the clip detection, the camera seems to consistently confuse my grill cover with a person and classify my children in snow clothes crawling on the ground as animals. These are edge cases I've reported to Acara, but overall, the image detection is really great, and most importantly, really fast since it's done on device. Acara had a great demo of this at their CES booth with package detection, showing how fast the camera can recognize not just a package in the frame, but where specific packages are in the video picture. Beyond HomeKit Secure Video and recording on the camera, I also tried connecting this via RTSP to my Synology surveillance station. And I have a lot more to say about the Synology integration in just a minute. For years, Acara has shipped cameras that work as a hub for their Zigbee sensors. This means you can use their camera to work with a broad range of their affordable Zigbee sensors like leak detectors, door sensors, motion sensors, and more. This camera can act as a Zigbee hub and also as a thread border router, enabling you to connect some of Acara's newer thread-based products all via Matter or specific smart home integrations like Apple Home. Think of this kind of like having lots of the features of Acara's latest M3 hub also baked into your camera. Just like the M3 hub, you can use the Camera G5 Pro as a Matter controller, connecting other Matter accessories in your home to the camera for automation with Acara. For example, Acara's G5 Pro camera exposes the detection of certain types of objects in the frame as automation triggers. I played with this to make my Acara light strip in my office turn on or off or different colors if there was a person or package on my back deck. This worked, but I did hit issues with the false positive recognitions I mentioned earlier. The real advantage of all this functionality is that you might have your G5 Pro mounted outside. This means Zigbee and Thread radios combined with Matter Control are a lot closer to your outdoor smart home tech. Not to mention, if it's a PoE G5 Pro, you have that wired connection back into your smart home. Keep in mind that for matter control, the PoE G5 does not have a Wi-Fi radio to communicate with matter over Wi-Fi devices like its sibling, the Wi-Fi G5 Pro. The PoE version can still control those Wi-Fi devices, but it will be using your other Wi-Fi access points to do so. So I wanted to jump into some more details about the RTSP feature of the Acar G5 Pro because I really think it helps take this camera to a whole nother level. I'm in the settings for my camera inside of the Acara app, and from there, if I go to device settings, you'll see a listing for RTSP LAN preview. And when you go in there and turn that on, you'll get a RTSP link with the IP address of your camera, as well as a username and password, and then video resolution to add to your network video recorder. Now keep in mind that it defaults your resolution to 360p, which is gonna be very small video file sizes, but maybe not the resolution you want. So if you look at the footnotes, you'll notice that Akara mentions this camera does support RTSP at 1080p, as well as the full 1520p. So if you put 1520p as the path in your RTSP link, then you're gonna get the full resolution that this camera is capable of on your network video recorder. And the killer feature here is that depending on the details of your network video recorder, if maybe you're using Synology Surveillance Station like I am, it can record a continuous stream of video from the camera. So you'll never miss a moment. You can scrub through the footage of every second, as well as seeing the clips called out in the timeline that Akara has recognized. One other detail to keep in mind if you wanna set this up is that you'll wanna go into your router settings in your network and make sure that both, of course, your Synology or network video recorder and your camera have reserved IP addresses on your network, which means that they're not gonna change their IP address at some point, and then the camera and the recorder might not see each other on the network. At the beginning of the video, I mentioned that there are some differences between the Acara G5 Pro and 
other PoE cameras on the market. And the main one is that there are other cameras in the market that support 4K video. I find 2K to be plenty enough resolution in a lot of cases to clearly see things like license plates, and then it's less video resolution, less data to record and manage and move around. So for me, 2K is plenty, but you might want those extra pixels and the G5 Pro is not gonna be able to give that to you. It stops at 2K, it doesn't have a 4K sensor. The other thing is that Akara doesn't make a network video recorder to attach this camera to you. And if you're buying that right alongside the camera, it can be very expensive. There aren't any kind of bundled discounts of getting this camera with a network video recorder from Acara. It's for these reasons, I think the Acara G5 Pro is a perfect PoE camera for some and not necessarily what others are looking for. It's also why as Acara continues to build out their product line, I'd love to see them make their own local network video recorder taking some inspiration from companies like Eufy and Ubiquity. And while it's fun to dream about future products, the Acara G5 Pro is available now, and you can find out more at the links at the top of the description. Let me know in the comments what features of this camera sound interesting to you, and if you think having the PoE version is worth the effort of running wires. Right now, if you're looking for a great HomeKit Secure video camera and you can run Ethernet to it, it's hard to think of a better option. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks again so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.